What is the crack, lads? We are back with another player review. This time we're taking a look at the new breakout stars which launched today. Now, these breakout stars, you cannot buy them with coins, you can't buy them with GP, you can't buy them with eFootball points. You are going to have to get them with a nominating contract. So if you have not got your free five-star nominating contract and you're wondering how to do that, you can check out my video on how to get a free five-star nominating contract and you can get any of these five-star players for free. You can check here in the top right hand of the screen. You can see in my little information box, I have got one five-star nominating contract. I've got two four-star nominating contracts. I've got four three-stars and I've got four two-stars. So I've got a lot of nominating contracts, but I can only sign a five-star if I've got a five-star nominating contract. That's the only way that you can get these players. Now, you can buy the premium objectives and get other five-star nominating contracts, um, but you have to unlock them. So the free one takes about 40 minutes to do. I will leave a link in the description below. But yeah, we've got Haaland, Ibrahimovic, Ben White, David, Haller, Connor Gallagher. We've got Klaus. We've got Kaku. We've got Furihashi, Vitinha, Joaquin, Danny Alves, Kandreva, Coutinho, Eriksen, uh, Magnan, and Alaba. So there is some good players in here, but some of the best players in here, such as Haaland, when you look at him and you're thinking, wow, 92 Haaland, he's pretty much the final article. I just have to, final product, and I just have to get him into my squad, and I'm going to sign him straight off the rip. But we're going to be reviewing a couple of these players and having a couple of talking points because, yeah, Haaland for me, lads, I still don't recommend him. This is a slightly better card than his standard one, but I'll show you why I don't recommend him in a minute. So we're going to go through each profile. We are going to start with Haaland. Obviously, he's got unbelievable stats, straight off the rip you're looking at 90 kicking power 91 jump you're also looking at 86 finishing and 84 offensive awareness right but here's where the problem comes with Haaland and for cards like this that are tall good in the air strikers if you are wanting Haaland to be leading the line for you you're gonna have to contend with him having 53 balance which is really really slow he's also got seven or really low he's also got 71 stamina and 73 acceleration so when you're comparing him to the likes of Romario or Mbappe or Son, he's not going to be, in my opinion, as effective, right? I've used his standard card and I couldn't get on with him. Obviously, he can shoot on sight and he can score some worldies. But if you're looking for consistent center forward play, that can just do it all. Like Romario can be good in the air when it's required. He can be unbelievable when the ball is played to his feet, touch and go, like linking up the play, like intercepting, like hassling, pressing, he can do it all. Whereas with Haaland, he's more of a required play style. I think you're going to have to launch the ball into the box, launch high balls into him, play long ball or long ball counter. And I do think that he is a different kind of play style than the likes of like Son, Mbappe, Haaland, or Son, Mbappe, Romario, somebody like that. So when we actually look here, right, he does have unwavering form. He's got so many player skills. He's also got super sub. I think if you were getting him as a backup to your main striker, putting him on with 20 minutes to go would be insane. He'd probably be the most overpowered super sub ever, the Thanos of super subs. But I just think that that balance is going to be an issue for you, right? So when we head over to eFootball DB, we have trained him up as best we possibly can. He still maxes out at around a 58 balance, you know, that we're going to be doing it. Now, we can obviously take away his shooting, and we can pump that into dexterity, but we're still going to max out at 60 balance and 80 acceleration, which in my opinion isn't enough if you come up against a beastly defender. So for me, I would say miss Haaland, miss out on Haaland, and maybe just try and get the standard card if you want to have a really good super sub. If you have got a fairly stacked team, Haaland would be an amazing super sub, lads. He would be one of the best super subs in the game. So I think that that's the only way I would play him. But let me know. I could be wrong. Let me know if you guys have used ha ha Haaland. And he's absolutely dominating for you. Next up, we have got Ibrahimovic. I don't know why Ibrahimovic is in a breakout star, but yeah, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it and see how he goes. But 88 overall, he's also got 10 levels that he can train up, right? He's got unwavering form. He's got 195 centimeters. He's a big, big unit. 82 finishing. Again, the acceleration and the balance. I mean, the balance is a really kind of like overlooks that I think I think that they've designed it that way not to have the taller players be completely dominant and it makes sense a little bit I suppose obviously for Ibrahimovic he would have been you know you'd imagine he'd have unbelievable poise and unbelievable balance but I think the balance that is there to to kind of make it that they're not too overpowered Ibrahimovic his problem is his speed no matter what way you look at it right we head over here again to eFootballDB we train him up 
we give him quick counter, we max that out at 90, and then we're going to try and up his speed as best as we possibly can, just 5 there, 5, or 7 there, 7 there, um, we can't really do it, and then obviously his dribbling isn't that good either, but yeah, I mean, you were going to be using Ibrahimovic basically as a two-man striker par strike partnership, have a really, really fast, versatile, mobile uh, center forward such as Romario or Mbappe or even Messi or Maradona or someone quick and zippy and then Ibrahimovic as your second option your plan b lump into the box Peter Crouch style so I don't recommend Ibrahimovic either um, I think so sorry for everybody that is looking for a really good Ibrahimovic card I just think that this card compared to the standard card it's not really worth it if you've only got one five-star nominating contract in my opinion so next up then we do have Ben White. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time on him. He's an average enough uh, defender. He's not going to really, as I always say, change the dial on your squad. There's a lot of other players out there that are better than him. And again, he's only got eight levels. So his 69 acceleration and 68 balance, again, you don't need to balance too much for defending. But he's, you know, 78 aggression. You can only boost up his acceleration or his defensive capabilities. I just think that it's a skip for him as well. He's just not good enough, I think, at this stage. Um, the player that I would probably focus on if I was looking at it would be David Alaba, right? He's only got seven star or seven uh, points to go up, but his stats are brilliant across the board. I think he's one of the best left-sided players in the game, left midfield, left back, because he's got the defensive capabilities that you don't really need to upgrade if you want him as an attacking option. So if you want an attacking left back, you can just pump it into acceleration and stamina and dribbling and have him as kind of like a kind of like a, a, a Roberto Carlos type player, type player or a Davies type left back that he can bomb up and down. He's got really good base stats. He can play a bit of ball. He can bring in everybody into it. And he is one of the most overpowering players in the game. On the flip side, if we go over to eFootballDB here, we could also turn him into a, a, a third man center back. So again, we've got possession game. We'll put one point into that. Not really too bothered with that at the moment. And then we're just going to turn him into a really good defender, right? So we'll give him a couple of points in that. We'll give him a couple of points in that, and that'll bring it up there. And then we can just throw one into acceleration or else dexterity, whichever we want, um, or lower body strength. So there, like, that is a really good center back that you're going to have. 90 defensive awareness, 85 engagement, 83 tackling and aggression, 84 jump, and then 80 speed. He's not the tallest, but he's also not the smallest. So I think that he is a really good center back. If you're struggling and you're looking to get a really good centre back, I think Alaba is my pick of this agent for the nominating contracts. So that is my pick for it. But again, he is a really good player to have in your squad. Uh, Mike Mignan, obviously the AC Milan keeper. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time on him. He is a good player, don't get me wrong. He's a very good player. Um, but he's only got 10 levels to go up. And I think that the biggest problem with him is his reflexes. Now, I've seen a lot of people talk about this guy. Obviously, he, <coughs> he has the unwavering form as well, which is brilliant for a goalkeeper. It means that he's going to be more up than down. But when we go over here to eFootballDB and look at him compared to his base card, right... Once we have given him quick counter or whatever, he's, he's, whatever play style you have, either one or two points into that, we are going to just try and focus on getting that reflexes up, right? So to get his reflexes up to a 90, you're going to have to pretty much pump in all your stats and then pump it into there. He's a 91 overall. He's only got 77 clearing and 78 reach. I think that there's a lot better keepers out there. Even his base card has got a lot more levels to go that you can actually improve his base card a lot better than this card here. So I would definitely say miss out on that as well. Um, next up, we have got uh christian erickson so erickson is obviously a very decent player but again we're not going to spend too much time on him because again of his speed um he does have standard form which is a bit of a bummer as well but yeah as an attacking midfielder there's way better options out there even though he does have some good player skills and player stats um which is good but i yeah i just don't think you know that he's going to be worth it in my opinion anyway i just don't think he really kind of like makes that makes that move next up we have got haller who we're going to look at here we're going to go back to david in a second because he's one of my other picks as well um he's an absolute beast but yeah haller again is a very good player um as far as i know he's after getting transferred isn't he so i'm not too sure um what his stats are going to be like you know come next month or the month after when they do an update or whatever but it's again his acceleration and balance are absolute killer lads because again look at him in the air he's a really good jump or a really good header and really good finishing and that's limited by him having 
obviously he's got unwavering form, but that's limited by him having the the bad balance and the bad acceleration. You know, you you need your striker, in my opinion, to have at least 75 balance and acceleration just off the rip. That's just my opinion for the way I play. Obviously, everyone plays differently, but yeah, that is just my opinion on that. Um, but yeah, I would probably miss him out as well. For David, then this is guy. This guy could be a bit of a dark horse with it because he is an absolute beast. He could be one of those like under the radar players um, that could be the pick of these. You know what I mean? They could be the pick of the of the breakout stars because when we look at his base stats, right? Obviously, <clears throat> he doesn't have unwavering form. But if you're bringing him on as a super sub, even though he doesn't have that as a player skill, this guy is what I'm you know talking about when I say you need to have proper uh, base stats for your center forward that can do it all, right? If we go over to eFootball DB, we don't need to boost up that many things. You know, we can give him his long ball counter. Uh, we can give him one in that. And then we've got 19 other stats, right? So the dribbling, I would bring up to 80. And then I would probably bring up his shooting, his finishing to 80. And then I would probably just focus on his speed and his, uh, or his, yeah, his speed on both sides, right? So I'd probably bring that up to like 88. We've still got seven points to mess around with here. I'd probably bring that up a little bit more, uh, more for the balance than anything else. I'd probably bring up his stamina just to 80. And then we've got one point left that we can just put into shooting again. This guy is an absolute beast. He's got 81 ball control, 83 uh, offensive awareness, 81 finishing, 90 acceleration, 82 balance. And he just looks like the finished article right there. You know, he is a brilliant card, I think, as well. If you are if you are looking, excuse me, lads, if you are looking for um, one of these cards to kind of be a game changer for you, I would reckon that he will be one of the ones to, to look at. Um, next up, we have got, and I'll stick in eFootball DB, we've got Gallagher. Again, really good stats across the board, but again, his speed, um, his physical contact, stuff like that. I think that there's a lot better players out there, especially for a five-star nominating contract. Danny Alves the same. Danny Alves just isn't what he used to be. Obviously, he's tipping on now, and you know he's 38 years of age. He's not going to be somebody that is going to come into your squad and like transforms it. Same with Coutinho, 86 overall. But again, that speed, um, he's got insane balance. This is what I'm talking about. This is how they balance the players that are like smaller in stature, but are just able to keep their balance on the on the pitch. Um, but his physical contact and his finishing is quite poor for an AMF. If you're going to be shooting with your AMF, but other than that, he's not a bad card, lads. I mean, if you give this in here and you play out wide, which I do, um, you know, you can boost this up fairly easily to an 80. You can boot, boost this up to an 85. And then you can give him one in the dribbling. Not bad. 90 overall attack and midfielder, 97 balance, one of the best balance stats players in the game. And last but not least, we're going to focus on Furuhashi, who is here. He's got a couple of cards in the game already. And again, this guy could be a bit of a breakout star, as is uh, the, the, the name of the, the, the agent. This guy can go up to 90 very, very quickly. His dribbling can go up to 80. We've still got a couple of stats left there, so we can play a possession game. He's also got fairly good stats for finishing, which is 75 as a left winger. You don't really need that unless you're going to be cutting in and, sh and shooting like Robin um, on that left or right flank. But I would probably focus it on um, his lower body strength to bring that up as well to like 87 and get his stamina up because his balance and stamina are quite poor. But if you're using him as an out-and-out -out winger, I would definitely say that you don't need as much speed as we're using there. I would just probably focus on the dribbling and bring it up as best as we possibly can and the passing to bring in everybody. 88 overall as a five-star nominating contract. Again, if you're a Celtic fan, he could be he could be one that you actually watch. So yeah, lads, that is it for me. We've got a couple of other players in here as well. If we go back, I don't want to make the video too long, but we've got Kandreva, we've got Joaquin. These guys, in my opinion, aren't really going to change the dial too much for you. Um, you know, they've got some very nice base stats, like this guy, Vitinha. He's probably a better option than most of the players on the, on the squad, but he's a four-star nominating contract, so you should be able to get him quite easily. He would be my pick for the four-star. Um, Furuhashi, obviously, lads, we have to update eFootballDB because he is a three-star player, so you'll be able to get him quite decent. And I think for a three-star player, he would be absolutely insane. Uh, Gallagher is the same. We do need to upgrade those uh, those agents. But yeah, Kondreva, Danny Alves, Joaquin, Gallagher, any of these boys are four-star, and then Furuhashi are, is a three-star player. So I do think that they are probably worth it for that but for me, I definitely think if I had to pick, I would probably pick Alaba, David, and then for my four star, I would probably pick um, Vitinha, 
and then I would probably pick Furuhashi, he's the only three star. This guy as well, again, very, very, very good base stats, and this is what I'm talking about when you've got the base stats right. You don't need to touch too much to his balance, his acceleration, his speed, or any of his dribbling or passing stats. You can get all those into the mid-80s with the player level system, so it is worth checking out this guy he's an absolute beast as well but for me they will be the ones that i recommend let me know what you guys think we'll be back quite soon with another video lads hope you're enjoying these episodes i will talk to you later peace